my next operation, I like to do a drilling operation to drill out the hole over here. Now, if we take a look at the diameter that I want to drill out, if I click over here, you see that we're working at a diameter of 20 millimeters. I'm going to start my new operation, and I'll choose my turning operation of drilling. And in drilling, we've made several improvements. We have our submachine exactly the way we had before. I'm going to choose a tool, and I have a tool here already prepared for me, a U-drill, as shown over here. And the U-drill diameter at this point is 15 millimeters. I'll choose Select. If I go to technology, we see have, we have our positions. We have a drill start, and I can write in any value I want or pick it from the part itself. I have my drill end. Again, I can pick it or write in any value I want. I'm going to write it at minus 150 millimeters. I have the drill cycle type. I'll use the option of, say, Pecking, and in my data field, I'll have my step down at every 25 millimeters. Now, let's leave it exactly the way it is. We have, uh, by the way, we've also improved our depth type. It now works exactly the way it works inside our milling operations. And I'll put this at full diameter, and it'll do exactly that. Let's run my simulation. And again, we'll use our turning simulation. And as you can see, the tool goes in with the step in exactly the way I want it, all the way until it finishes the part itself. Now, as we said before, our diameter is 20 millimeters, not 15 millimeters like the tool itself. But this is a U-drill, and a U-drill can also work off-center as well. So if I go back, I can go into my technology area, and we have here what we call center shift. All I'm going to do is take my center shift, and you can see the diagram on the side, and have it at two and a half millimeters. I'll do save and calculate and simulate. Again, use my turning operation, and this time you can see that my tool is off center as shown over here. By that, I will get the end result of a bigger hole than what I had before. You can see that the diameter over here is 15, but the diameter on the part itself is bigger than the diameter of the tool, giving us a 20 millimeter diameter hole, exactly the way we need it.